Castle Rock has a dedication requirement of eight acres per thousand population of parkland. The six acres is dedicated towards the community park portion of that and two acres is dedicated for the neighborhood park uh, portion of the dedication requirement. The town of Castle Rock is currently undergoing construction of a specialty element of the park which is a skateboard park that will be located in our community park along Front Street. We retain a consultant to help us develop those construction documents for the park and also we have retained a architect from the local community that is helping us with some art that will go into that skateboard park um, in coordination with the design of the, of the park. The town of Castle Rock is starting to look at the design of your active parks in coordination with water conservation practices. You will not see all of the property irrigated bluegrass turf anymore. We are reserving a portion of that property as a native area that reduces the demand on the water system. South Suburban Parks and Recreation District has the responsibility of maintaining uh, as well as building the parks in northern Douglas County for the areas of Lone Tree, Acres Green, and Wildcat Ridge. South Suburban operates parks that vary in size from very small neighborhood parks to 20-acre parks and uh, larger parks such as our golf course at Lone Tree. The Lone Tree Clubhouse and Hotel is a public facility owned and operated by South Suburban. It's an 18-hole championship course that includes outdoor swimming pool and outdoor tennis courts, a clubhouse, a pro shop, and actually there are hotel rooms and banquet facilities available to the public. South Suburban Parks and Recreation operate several unique parks in Northern Douglas County. One of them is the Landfill Project, which is located at the corner of Colorado and County Line Road. The landfill is about an 80-acre site which will be developed into artificial turf fields. The uniqueness about the landfill is that it couldn't really be used for anything else but a park. And because of the methane contained in the landfill, we are developing it very sensitively, realizing that artificial turf won't need to be irrigated, and it can be used year-round, and it will be developed safely. South Suburban has been involved with the Acres Green neighborhood in developing a xeriscape park called Maximus Trail Park. This park it was built with no irrigation and it contains all native grasses and native shrubs and blooms throughout the year.